is happening, friends of CCP Podcasting Productions. Welcome back to Behind the Curtain Women's Watch Alongs. I'm uh, Chris Page and he's Tarja Ramsey. What's up, bud? How you doing today? I am doing well. Um, I am always like ecstatic when you're like, hey, let's record some women's wrestling. And I'm like, I'm there. So yeah, see, this is a great day for me. I say women's oh wrestling, you're all fucking about it. Say anything else, you're like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> women's wrestling, sure, no problem. Let's do it. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I love you anyway. Um, <laughs> listen, if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. We're glad you stopped by. You're glad you're here. You're checking out what we got going on. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, uh, you know this drill. We know what we're here for. We're here to dive into some some women's wrestling. And uh, Toddy, go ahead and set us up. What do we got today? So today we are going to watch uh, Laura Di Matteo versus Kara for the GWF women's title. And Laura Di Matteo is someone that we've seen. I think we were introduced to her in the War Games uh, episode, and she continues to impress. So I definitely wanted to see more from her. And uh, seeing her in a women's title match, I feel it's going to uh, elevate what we've already seen. So this is brought to us by Project Nova Wrestling. So if you like what you see, make sure you check out their content, check out their channel. And um, I am ready to see this match. Um, folks, we've never seen this before, so we don't know what to expect. So we're all seeing this for the first time. Yeah, in other words, he's saying that because the last women's tag match we watched. I don't know if I've aired it in <laughs> succession or not. Uh, pretty Empowered versus uh, uh, Jalen. Uh, and, uh, Jada Stone and... Yeah. Uh, Oh God! I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The match is terrible. Uh, the finish was 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 horrendous, <laughs> and it it it, it really. Just... Right. Well, the match was okay. The finish was terrible. So again, prefacing, we don't know what the fuck we're about to see. So if it sucks, don't blame us. We're just reaching for the stars and pulling out what we can pull out. Uh, we're gonna get started. Uh, three, two, one, play. Let me hit this little sweet transition over here. There we go. It's the main event. She's got a cool smock on. She does. I was admiring that. <laughs> and I like her red hair. Gives me gives me Candace vibes. Right? All right, let's go. There she is. There she is. Laura Di Matteo. Love the patch on the corner. Mm-hmm. She always represents. She definitely knows how to work a crowd. Yeah, that one little hand gesture just got a chant. What's something you can't fake? You either have it or you don't. So I'm taking it that they're in Germany somewhere because I couldn't describe more of the match because the description's in German, but it sounded like the ring announcer was also speaking German. Yeah, well, I'm locked in on my screens, but you have Google Translate. Just so you know. I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there is the champ. I guess this is Kara. Oh. Is that how we're pronouncing Yeah. It? The champ is here. She's giving me superhero vibes, specifically um, Starlight from the show The Boys. Oh, good reference. Security. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just standing back there. 
<laughs> no, we need Atlas security. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not an indie show without Atlas security. <laughs> Oh, she gave you a superhero pose on the way into the ring. Oh, okay. So, it says, is a new collective from Berlin, which has set itself the task of offering a platform to the next generation. I like that description. Okay, Project Nova. Let's see what you're all about. This is the first time we've had a Project Nova match on the channel. Absolutely. I'm excited about that. Oh, champion said, nope, fuck your intros. Oh, you need to get out of the ring, announcer. Wow. Yeah, these women, are, they're ready to go. I'm obviously rooting for, for Vardy to Of course. I mean, I would root for the deal, don't get me wrong, but I'm uh, all about it. But I was impressed when I saw Vardy in the uh, Women's War Games match. Right. Mm, nice. Oh, a throat to the throat. A thrust to the throat. Say that five times fast, Chris. Good job. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, that was a nice, <laughs> nice thrust to the throat there. I like it. Yes, it was. That hair throw wasn't impressive. <laughs> but... I feel like uh, like my Zeus has has gotten into something. <laughs> how, He's awfully quiet. Well, my how my studio is set up. You know, I've got a TV that's right here in front of me, but then I got my desk, and so in between I can see the floor down there. There's some stuff. In there. Uh oh. He's got a hold of something. <laughs> and he knows it too because when I when I went when I looked at him, he hauled ass and he came right over here and sat down beside the chair. <laughs> he, he knows. Like he, he, <laughs> Laura Di Matteo is getting woman handled right now. Yes, she is. I think it's. I think we've had a death on one of the on one of the two toys. Uh, oh, that slap! Up into a fireman's carry, elbows by Mateo. Schoolgirl, one, two. Come on, Laura. Whoa! That was a uh, that was smart. That was smart. You know, one thing that I'm really um, happy to see in professional wrestling as a whole a lot now, there are a lot more women referees, and they do really they do a really good job when they're calling these matches, and they're featured in some pretty prominent matches. Not just limited to women's matches, so I'm I'm happy to see that change in the business. Any kind of forward movement, forward progress uh, towards equality for all is a, is a is a good movement. I feel, and uh, mm -hmm. you know there are, and you know it's not the first time by any means that there have been a female referees. There were some back in the territory days. There were some back in the WWF and the 
you know, mid to late eighties or whatever people came out for So it's not the first right. time, but, but, but yes, you're one hundred percent correct. When all major companies have a female referee, uh, it's a, it's a, it's always a good thing to see. It's a good sign. Most of them have more than one. And one thing that I guess I didn't realize until maybe like last week, they're also prominent in the video games that the wrestling companies are releasing. So I, I like that change. Our champ here needs to tighten up on that chin lock because there's an awful lot of space between her elbow and DiMatteo's chin. Now she's tightened it up a little bit, but I feel like Laura's going to make her pay for that. I feel like we're about to have our comeback. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Nice. nice. Jinx, you have me a Drop kick. One, two, kick out. Come on, Laura. I have faith in you. Don't let me down. Well, you know, as of this recording, this this is only this was uploaded like seven days ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Oh, nice fisherman suplex. One, two, kick out. Every time I see the fisherman, I feel I think Kurt Henning. I always go to I always go to Mr. Perfect. Oh, she said. Uh, That's funny. You you think about that, and I um, I guess because I was not a fan of wrestling back then. Um, I always think about Jazz and her fisherman suplex. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice step up in Sigiri by Laura DiMatteo. And our, our ring's not attendant has said F the, the turnbuckle pack. <laughs> so, uh, cue the finish. Because I feel like that's going to play into it. Right. So now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking Caramel, Caramel, or it could backfire. <gasps> it could backfire, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Same, same, same. If, if, if our buddy James Raven was here, he'd say this would be an opportunity to run into Sting. <laughs> Shout out to James Rapin and Sting. <laughs> I always try and keep it fun and entertaining, guys. If you haven't checked out one of our live streams on Monday and Thursdays, you, you need to pop in. That's so, a good time. You never know who oh. stopped by. The doorbell can ring at any moment. That is very true. Oh, nice super kick there to the temple. Liked it. Into the DDT. One, two, kick out. I just saw somebody strut ass around the corner of the <laughs> I don't know if it was a wrestler or what. They were in hot pink. I don't know if you saw it. I, I did not. It, it could be that uh, ECW uh, fan cam. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Come on, Laura. You got this. Oh, she's going into a cross face. Laura, beat. Look at that. Smart. Ring awareness. Great. No yep. at. Feet on the road. Love it. How is, how is Laura not signed in the United States? How is this, how is this not a thing? Mm. Peace. Mm. Okay. Oh, so close. Two, two, two. I thought it was it. I was about to pop. Right. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Yeah, she's gouging her eyes? What's happening here? Yeah. She was gouging her eyes, it looked like. Samoan drop. One. Two, kick out. Come on, Laura. Oh. No. Mm. Look at that arm. The way she has the, the way she has it bent. Uh, ah. 
<laughs> Damn it, man. Still, was a good match. It was. Hey, we got introduced to, to, to a new uh, a new women's wrestler. Kara. Got the tap on Lord, you tell you. That's important. Impressive. I'm gonna write her name down. Well, well I just we'll see some more of her. Popped it right back on over to uh, to our original screen here, guys. Uh, while you're writing that down, I enjoyed the match. I, I thought it was 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 pretty good. Uh, for what Absolutely. It was, definitely. Uh, you know, it, it's got a small indie feel to it. Uh, but so did uh, did Pro Wrestling Eve, the female promotion out of mm -hmm. England, with some of the matches that we've watched, and we've also seen them in fucking uh, sold out arenas. Uh, right. So, uh, I, I really enjoy the match. I, I do like Laura Di Matteo's work. Uh, I, I just, I, I truly think that, that she's something special, and I want to see more of her uh, on the channel. Uh, and I, and I'm also interested to see more about Kara. Kara was a little, she's a little sloppy, but it wasn't wasn't mm -hmm. bad. Uh, she's she's got a, you know, to me, there was a couple of chin lock spots where. You know, you got to tighten up on the chin. You you can't lock a chin lock and have this much space in between the, the head and the chin. You got to tighten that up a little bit. Just stuff like that, minor stuff. Nothing, nothing major, uh, by any means. Um, I mean, I overall, I mean, they think probably like six five. It's kind of where I'm at with the match. Uh, it wasn't wasn't terrible. It was better than average. Uh, could it have been better? Absolutely. There are things that could have right. done to enhance the overall experience. Sure. Uh, but I also think that there's there's more to both of these uh, these ladies here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see. So, what are your thoughts on? Um, I think that you, what you said is spot on. I think that character char character <laughs> Kara has her character gimmick down, and for the mistakes that she made, um, I could see easily her overcoming that uh, just by continuing to wrestle, continuing to train. Um, she wasn't she wasn't bad uh, at all. And working with women like Laura Di Matteo are only going to continue to make her better. Um, I, I love, I love watching the two styles in comparison. I did like uh, the back and forth. So you know, each one of them had their spots, which I definitely enjoy seeing stuff like that. And um, you could see, you could see the passion and that they wanted to put on a good match. And so for me, when I see you know, both competitors want to put on a good match for everybody that's watching. You know, that that sells me. I was I was at a six, uh, to be honest, because like you said, it wasn't bad. Um, it was above average. It was, you know, so that that's the score that I was at. Uh, but they got Kara got her name written down and we already had Laura. So couldn't have been a bad match. No, 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 no. Uh, guys, you drop, drop us a comment. Uh, down below, tell us what you think uh, about about this contest, about our rating. Um, let your voice be heard. You got anything you want us to take a peek at? Uh, drop them in the comments below. I will tell you if you do make that uh, that overture, that like we do have a lot of stuff in the queue right now. Uh, that's not even been recorded yet. But if it's coming from one of you guys that's a subscriber, we will make it a priority. Uh, we will get it turned around and get it out pretty quick, just to to make sure that we're doing right by you because you're doing right by us. Um, so that being said, take us home. Let's get out of here uh, and, and, and celebrate what's left of the day. Well, first and foremost, we want to say thank you to each and every one of you, whether you're a first time viewer, whether you're a casual viewer, or whether you are here for every single piece of daily content that we drop on this channel. Uh, we really appreciate you and you are why we do this. Um, so with that, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you hit that ring bell notification so that you don't miss any of the quality programming that we put out on this channel. We also live stream on Twitch on Mondays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we do watch alongs on there and we also do spotlights and on the spotlights, uh, we recognize anybody from the unsung heroes of this business all the way up to the wrestlers that everyone knows and loves. Um, and with that, we also have competitions during our live streams where you, the viewer, are the judges Unbeaten. and you can. This guy. Unbeaten. For now. For now. Uh, but you guys are our judges and you score the matches and um, we don't tell you who picked what. So uh, 
you score the matches and we go from there. But we love the interaction and we love talking to you throughout the live stream. Um, with that, Twitch also has uh, Twitch exclusives that you don't see on YouTube because uh, YouTube police is a thing. So uh, you don't want to miss those. There are, have been some uh, pretty hilarious moments there with those uh, Twitch exclusives. Uh, we also have a Discord server where you can come and talk to us there as well. Tell us the good, the bad, the ugly. Tell us things that you want to see, um, and we'll make sure that we get that out there for you. Uh, the other advantage to that is you get early drops of the shows. So that's something that you don't want to miss. Um, with all that being said, thank you again. We love each and every one of your faces. And until next time. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs>